Hi, everybody. So uh, now we're going to uh, learn to measure a metric. In science, um, we uh, will measure using metric always. Um, if you take a look at this ruler, this is a typical ruler that we'll have in the lab. You will see on one side, um, we have this ruler measures to six. It's six something. And on the other side, it measures up to 14 and then goes another unit past that, so 15. Um, and so we have 15 somethings or six somethings. Now, which side do we use? Well, we are never ever gonna use this bottom side. That's the old fashioned, old standard English inches. Inches, feet, we don't use that in science at all. We're gonna use metric, which is the top part of the ruler. So anytime you are asked to measure anything in this course, you will always use that side of the ruler and that is the metric, and the old-fashioned standard is on the bottom. You are going to use metric only. So let's look at that metric side up close. So here's a, a, an up-close look at it. You can see down here are the inches that we will not, not, not use, and up here um, are the millimeters. It's labeled millimeter side. That's the metric side that we'll be using. Now, this is really misleading. This ruler stinks because it says mm, which means millimeters. But the numbers aren't millimeters at all. The, the numbers are centimeters. Crazy, right? So millimeters are actually those little teeny lines all the way across. So this ruler shows exactly 12 centimeters. That's centimeters, one, two, three, four all the way up to 12 centimeters. This unit of 10 lines together is one centimeter. Those little teeny lines are millimeters. And so from here to the one is 10 millimeters and another 10 makes 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, all the way up to 120. Millimeters are abbreviated with mm, centimeters are abbreviated with cm. One centimeter from this line to this line, one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. So if you have one centimeter, you really have 10 millimeters. If you've got 12 centimeters, you've got 120 millimeters. So let's try measuring some lines. If you take a look at the line that I have drawn across the top of the ruler here, you'll see that it lines up at the zero and it lines up at the eight. Is that eight centimeters or eight millimeters? That is eight centimeters, which therefore is 80 millimeters. Let's try the next one. We have a shorter line here. It starts again at the zero, and this time it doesn't go to a whole number of centimeters. It goes to this midline right in between the two and the three. So how many centimeters is that? Well, we've got one centimeter, two centimeters, and then another half of a centimeter. How many millimeters are in there? 10, there's 10 little lines. It goes to the fifth one. So that is 2.5 centimeters, which is 25 millimeters. All right, this one's a little tricky. This one, the line is lined up to the one. It doesn't start at the zero. So we're going to have to subtract that off the top. On the other end, it goes to the five. So how many centimeters is this if it goes from the one to the five? If you're not sure how to do this mathematically, you can just count. So let's look. Between the one and the two is the first centimeter. Between the two and the three is the second centimeter another centimeter leading up to the four, and finally up to the five, that gives you four centimeters. Now, really the way that you could find that is you just take five, take away one, because this one isn't part of that line. And so you would get four centimeters, which is how many millimeters? 40. Let's do one more. This one doesn't go to the, the two, and it doesn't go to the midline. It actually goes to the second little line after the two. It starts at the zero, but then goes to the two, and then two little lines after that. So how many centimeters do we have there? We've got one, two centimeters, and then we have these two little lines after. How do we represent that numerically? 2.2 centimeters, which is equal 
to 22 millimeters. And that's how you measure length using metric.